I'm on the road this week, so what better time to talk the art of travel photography than right here from coastal Oregon. So you know how us travelers go somewhere to visit, pull out our cameras or smartphones, and wonder why our photos are never as good as the postcard? Well, there's a simple reason. Those photographers took the shots at the optimal time, either early morning or sunset's magic hour. You're probably snapping away at the worst time, the middle of the day. Even with a smartphone, shooting when the light is optimum can make a world of difference. And take note, in the smartphone era, we've got some amazing apps that can pretty up a photo and make it look just as good, if not better, than a postcard. My app of choice is Snapseed, which is part of Google's Nick collection, and it's free. There are many other great ones as well, but none with as many options that I've come across. The art of travel photography is telling a story. Here's where I went. Here's what I saw. Here's why it's cool. You're showing us with pictures instead of telling us with words. So a few rules to go by. Start with the welcome to sign. If you can't get that, walk around town and get it from somewhere else. The local pharmacy, ice cream shop, chamber of commerce, bus stop, you name it. I'm in Cannon Beach, Oregon right now as we speak, and the town is known for two things, a killer beach and this massive rock in the ocean called Haystack Rock. So our emphasis here has to be on those two items, the rock and sunset. A killer combo, right? People, what is travel photography without candid shots of folks having a good time? Here they are frolicking in the water, surfing, riding their bikes in the sand, you name it. A camera with a good zoom lens will come in handy, but if you've only got the smartphone, that's okay too. Just get in a little closer. When traveling, I love to capture fun signs, places, and things that remind me of the town. That could be the local greasy spoon and some of the beautiful homes that really stand out. So those are some of my tips for great travel photography. What are yours? Let's talk about it on Twitter, where I'm at Jefferson Graham.